Hello and welcome to a new video. In this one I will make a 20s dress. And first of all, I'm not the biggest fan of the 20s. And there are two reasons for that. The first one, and I think it's the most important one, um, is that it makes short people even look shorter. And I'm really short. So that was um, not the biggest motivation for me. But what inspired me was the series Downton Abbey. And um, what makes the series, um, when, when you look for the fashion, what it makes um, really interesting is the transition from this um, Edwardian um, style to um, the really the, to the short dresses, the 20s authentic style that we know now. Um, you can see how the waistline um, became becomes um, lower and lower and the length of the dress is uh, shorter and shorter so that was really inspiring for me but also the different um, styles the silhouettes um, the fabrics the combinations the patterns um, it was so it, it looked so exciting because back then, um, before the series, I just thought of um, 20s style of the dresses, um, just the simple potato sack dress. Um, but that was not the case back then. There were um, a lot of different styles. There were even different fabrics. There were, for example, velvet dresses with different patterns, um, laces, beading. Um, there, there was so much. There's so much going on. So that was really inspiring. And I had these um, two fabrics um, in my collection: the satin one, the pink one, and the. Uh, violet lace which has a little bit of a grayish look to it but it has beautiful silver threads in it so I thought that could match um, together um, so I thought of uh, maybe a simple more simple look because um, the lace itself was um, really pretty so I tried to make the look um, more simple I found um, this simple pattern on Pinterest, um, which basically was only squares, and um, there was not much to it. But I decided to go with uh, my way of um, pattern construction, uh, which at the end didn't really matter when I think about this. Basically, what I have done um, was to extend the side seam to get this uh, triangle shape. So I get this little folding at the side. When I bought this satin fabric, I thought how beautiful it was. Um, it was not too shiny like the regular polyester um, that you see in stores for um, for Halloween costumes and the color was gorgeous the pink color it was not too too pinkish um, but it was just perfect um, but as soon as I started working with it it was horrible um, it got stuck to every surface like to my table uh, to my clothes to even my hair so yeah that was not a good choice but at least the lace worked the lace was beautiful um, if it wasn't for the grayish look but after that i thought that this grayish um this grayish color to it um, is good because then the dress looked a little bit old so it was actually perfect 
I started to work with the lace layer first um, so I um, I attached the bodice to the underskirt part that I made um, and later um, just attached uh, the front and the back to each other and then started to work on the uh, second layer which was the Saturn one I already hemmed the Saturn dress the length so um, that will be my um, under layer so as you can see um, the lace and uh, the, sat the satin goes really really well together when I looked at the finished dress or almost finished I thought it was looking exactly like a potato sack so I had to do something so I found this uh, interesting um, pattern on the internet with uh, little squares and um, I cut the lace uh, in square shapes and um, then attached it to my um, waistline. So that was the perfect solution for this because it made the dress uh, really romantic and elegant and um, yeah it was it was perfect I, I think that the nylon thread is not really accurate uh, historical accurate at this point but I um, because I had this uh, see-through lace I had to go with some with some nylon thread I just had to then I decided to make um, additionally um, to the squares um, two straps um, to the shoulder seams from the lace so um, it gives the, the dress something special and I also added um, a little um, jewelry bow to the dress um, so it it was really looking like um, something expensive and um, something that you want to wear um, as a, as an evening gown. At the end, the finished evening gown looks really pretty, and I'm really proud of myself that I made this look work. Um, but nevertheless, I see some issues here and there, especially in the bust area. But I think uh, with a corset I will be fine. Um, the waistline is a little bit low. I wished I could uh, make it a little bit higher. But I'm still happy with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.